In this chapter, we're going to actually build an HTML5 game. We're going to build a snake game, which you may have played before if you had a cell phone back maybe 12 years ago or so, uh, before the whole app thing. Uh, you may have had a couple games on your phone, and Snake was one of the most popular. Uh, so let's take a look at it. All right, so basically you have this string of rectangles uh, built on a canvas. This whole black area is a canvas, just like uh, the ones that we created in the in the last section of videos. And you want to try to get the snake to eat the food, all right? Which is just another square. So when you grab a square, what it actually does is it adds it on to the tail, making the snake longer. And of course, the longer it gets, the hotter the game is. All right, and you can see at the bottom we have a couple boxes. We have a score, your score, which is the current game score, which is five right now. I'm not that great at this, but and you also see a high score, which is zero right now because nobody has gotten the high score. All right, so let's see, that's six, and if I crash into a wall, we get this overlay, which tells us our final score, and also a link to play again and you can see down here that the high score has changed to six alright so if we want to reload and play again or just click that play button uh, another game will start and you can see that the high score is still there so you can try to beat your high score and if you want you can also uh, reset the high score so now I go back to zero alright and you keep playing so pretty simple um, Pretty simple game, but it will give you um, a lot of knowledge on the canvas element for HTML5. The JavaScript uh, may be a little tough, especially when there's um, there's uh, arithmetic and, and math involved. I'm not a very good mathematician, um, and I mean this although it plays nicely isn't a production application this isn't something that you would want to sell or anything like that um, and there may be some little bugs here and there um, so I'm not saying this is a, a production app that you should build and sell and um, offer as a product it's just an example of how to use HTML5 canvas element um, local storage and a couple other things as well so let's take a quick look at the structure of the app. All right, it's very minimal. We have a background image, um, an index HTML file, uh, a script.js file, and a style.css file. All right, so that's it, four files. Um, it is a, a single page application. So what I wanna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna rename this to snake underscore finished and then we will create a new folder called snake alright and what I'm gonna do is just grab that background image so that's the big image of the snake that displays in the back and then for the other files we'll just create new ones Alright, so we want our index file, which is our main entry point. And we want our JavaScript file. And let's see, we want our CSS file. So style.css. All right, so let's go ahead and open up the index file with uh, whatever code editor you want to use. And I'm going to just paste in our shell for our HTML5 document. All right, now what we want to do is we're not going to do inline CSS or JavaScript. We're going to link to our other documents. So let's link to the CSS file first. So in the head, we want to say link rel, and that's going to be style sheet. Type is going to be text slash CSS, and 
actually we want to put our link here and that's gonna go just to style dot CSS I didn't make a CSS folder um, you can if you want but I didn't and then in the bottom here at the bottom right before the ending body tag will include our JavaScript first I want to link to jQuery okay we're just gonna use the Google CDN let me just grab it real quick alright paste that in there and then our main JS file which is called script dot js alright so we have our files connected um, now what we want to do is let's, let's create a container in the body because we want it to align to the middle And this HTML document is, is going to be very small. Most of the work is in the JavaScript. All right, so if we look at the game, this where it says your final score and click to play again, this is going to be a div that we're going to initially hide with CSS. And then when the game ends, when you run into a wall, uh, then we're going to have a display through jQuery. All right, so let's create this div and this content. All right, so in the container, I'm going to call this, I'm going to give it an ID of overlay. All right, so that, that represents the entire uh, little block, which will say your final score. All right, and then the score the score is actually going to come through JavaScript. It's going to be generated. So we need. What I'm going to do is put a span tag here, and that will be the placeholder for the score. And we give it. We'll give it an ID of final score. All right. Close the span. Nothing goes in between. And then let's do a line break. Actually, let's go to a new line a line break and then we want uh, that click to play again so what we're going to do is create a click handler I'm going to say on click it's gonna um, actually it's just gonna reload which will bring up the initialize function which will allow you to play the game alright so we can reload the page with window dot uh, location dot reload all right parentheses and we're just gonna set the link here just to go to nothing all right and the link will just say click to play again okay so that is our overlay div all right, so under that we're, is where we're going to put our canvas element. So just like in the past couple videos where we use canvas, we're going to give it an ID. We're just going to give it an ID of canvas. And we're going to set a width of 600 pixels. Whoop, this should be an equals. And this will be 600. And height. Height will be 400. All right, so that's our canvas element. Again, if you want to put in here for people that are using browsers that don't allow canvas, we'll just give them a little message. Okay. And then under the canvas is where we want to put our stats. All right, so our score, high score, and reset button. Okay, so let's create another div here and give it an ID of stats. 
All right, we'll close that. And then in here we'll do another div and give it an ID of score. All right, so these divs, they're not gonna have any content in the HTML. It's gonna be generated through the JavaScript file into this div. All right, and then the next one is gonna be div ID, and this is gonna be high score. All right, and then we'll have our button. So we'll say button on click is gonna, it's gonna call a function, a JavaScript function called uh, reset score. All right, and we'll give this an ID of reset score. And that should be good. As for the button text, we can put that here. Okay. And we got a couple divs here. Let me just make sure everything's good. Container, overlay, stats. Uh, let's see. Oh, here we're missing a double quote right there. All right, so the markup looks good. That's actually all the HTML that we need for this. Let's save it and look at it. It'll probably look horrible. All right, so basically nothing. Uh, we have our overlay here, which isn't hidden. The canvas is there. You can see see the, uh, the height of it, but we have no background or border. And then we have just the reset high score button. And if you remember the, the high score and the score um, div, they don't have anything in them. It's gonna be generated through JavaScript. All right, so that's it for the markup. So I'm gonna stop here, and then in the next video, we'll, um, we'll add the CSS, and we'll get this looking a little better.